family welcome back to Shay's kitchen today this is a simple and almost quick dish so i had made my generic dressing for you guys and i told you the next time i made it i was going to do everything not jiffy not seasonal everything like how it needs to be so we have our pan back here we have our chicken that i boiled for an hour and a half and chopped it up we have some minced garlic some cream of chicken some chicken broth we have i made the homemade cornbread um i've already made my cornbread recipe for you guys i doubled it in here over here we have some green bell peppers a half of one we have a half of a orange bell pepper we have a half of a medium onion and we have about two slices of a red onion and we have two stalks of celery here so let's go ahead and get everything put together okay guys so with our cornbread we are going to i'm gonna take my garlic first so i don't mess up my spoon too much i'll do a tablespoon and a half of the garlic we are going to take our whole plate and dump it in. Okay. Our whole can of cream of chicken. Like I said, if you still like the cream of mushroom and you want to put that in there, that is perfectly fine. That is your kitchen. Y'all see all the colors now. We'll mix this up here a little bit. Now I'm going to let my dressing sit in the pan for 30 minutes before I put it in the oven. So I'm going to wait on preheating mine. But if you were going to go ahead and put yours straight in the oven, as best if you can, even overnight to let it sit in the oven. Um, the freezer or the refrigerator i prefer the refrigerator um but you can go ahead and put it straight in there if you're going to go ahead and have your oven preheated okay now with our chicken Okay. And also when you're doing your cornbread, you can use your fork to break it up. But before you start this process, make sure you go in with your hands and make sure it's broken up how you would like it. Okay. So, with our chicken broth, I usually end up pouring some bottled water in here after I use all of this. Because you don't want to put dry dressing into your oven. Matter of fact, since it's still got some in there in the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and get my bottled water. And I'm going to pour some in here. I'll say half of half. Because you, you, you're going to get it crunchy with your oven being hot, your dressing. But you need all your moisture in your dressing. You need all of this. Y'all about to get friendly. I hear y'all talking. 
Okay, guys, it is seasoning time. I'm going to open it up a little bit like this. Okay, so I'm going to put some soul food seasoning. If y'all don't stop shushing, okay. Some garlic. Close it back up on itself. Onion. I do not put sage in mine. If you do, that is perfectly fine. You can have your sage ready around this time. Pepper. And on top of my pepper, I'm going to put some accent. Break the flavor up a little bit in here. Okay. If you want to put eggs in yours, that is fine too. I don't put any eggs in mine. I just don't like for the simple fact that I know this could last up to two days. Most of the time, that's it in our house. But I just don't like letting eggs sit in here if I don't have to. Okay, now you want to get a spoon and taste it. See if the taste is where you want it. Okay. I already greased my pan. Ooh, it's a big bag. Okay. We are ooh, dumping it in our pan. this goodness you want to taste it daddy okay take that piece of celery out for you He's in trouble, y'all. Both of them are doing it. Get out the camera. <laughs> I don't know what I do with that one. They're keeping me laughing. Put a little pepper on top. That's just because it's my business. That's what I like to do. Y'all know how I love my pepper. Okay. So, if you are trying to go ahead and put it in the oven, you would put it in the oven like this. We are not. I'm going to let mine go in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Then I'll let it sit out for about 15, 20 minutes. Then I'm going to put it in my oven. Now, your, your temperature might vary, especially if you have a gas going from electric to gas with temperatures. And you might like yours all the way kind of crunchy and, and maybe no moist in the inside. That's your business. Mine, I want it moist in the inside and I want the crunch 
on the outside. So we're going I'm going to let mine go almost 2 hours in the oven, probably about an hour and a half at 375. Usually the last 15 minutes I'll turn it up to 400 to make sure I get that extra crisp around the top and the sides. So in the meantime, I'm on the wood my my kids, my husband and my son. <laughs> yes, y'all, over here interrupting my video. Anywho, okay, we'll be back. Okay, guys, this is our dressing. Like I was telling you, crunchy on the outside, moist in the inside, like you like it. That's what you want right there. We have our cranberry sauce, Mexican corn, mashed potatoes, and okra. Y'all so far. I gotta show y'all video right now. My husband eating. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna let y'all go. This is some fire fire. When I say fire, it's fire fire. All right, fam. Till next video. Stay cool with Shay's Kitchen. Bye, family.